Okay, so these videos will be about guard passing series and today we're gonna look at open guard. Let's get to it. Hey guys, so first off we're gonna look at the way we're gonna engage uh, Mike in this situation, the guard player. So it's very important that I don't engage him with my feet squared up for him to make too many sweeps and with my posture broken down through my back. So we're gonna engage him with my knees bent, low through the hips and a straight back. So my hands are gonna work towards uh, changing his position into a worse situation for him. So I can either do that by grabbing his ankles through my knees and lifting him up or by pushing on the forehead and making him fall down. Now, as soon as Mike recovers, that's my moment when I'm gonna enter with my frame, which are my hands. So the pass is called a knee slice, but my hands are more important than the knees. So I'm gonna break his position and catch him with my hands. Now, the right hand in this case is the most important hand. It's gonna control his hip, and my elbow is going to control his knee line. This is very important for him not to get a knee shield or even worse, an underhook to sweep me here. So I'm gonna maintain the position. My right knee is gonna cut on his thigh with my shin and my left hand can either control his knee line or fight towards preventing him from getting grips or doing a cross face. My left leg is positioned out so he cannot grab my leg and go for a sweep. So we stay here. Now it's very important guys, before we continue we have good posture and we're not gonna reach for the underhook. So I'm gonna work towards my own underhook. If I reach with my arm, I can get the underhook, but I'm gonna give him an option to put his knee in between. And then again, I have to work on passing his knee shield, which we'll cover in another video. So I'm here, I keep my posture, I'm gonna go for the underhook and I'm gonna follow up with my side, with my ribs. So there's no space for him to get his knee shield. Now it's important that I keep my balance on the left side in this case. If I lean too much to the right side, Mike's gonna make a sweeping motion and I'm gonna fall off. So we're gonna stay here. Now before we finish our pass, we're gonna work on my left grip and his right hand so he doesn't wake me up with a frame here and gets to escape. So we can either control the wrist. I prefer to get a shotgun grip, which is a grip underneath his triceps, right where his elbow joint is uh, connected. So I grab the triceps and I pull it up. Now I slide through kick my leg out to get to a scarf hold. We call it kesagatami like position with an underhook. And then we're gonna to switch to our side control. So once again, a bit faster. I'm gonna break his position. I'm gonna enter with my frame, get the knee in, work towards the underhook, get the shotgun grip, kick out, and get the cross face for our side control. Whiz. Yeah, so now we're gonna look at two situations. The first one, we're gonna focus on his left hand, his right hand. So I'm gonna enter, I get my frame, boom. I managed to get, to prevent him from getting the knee shield and I managed to get the underhook position. Now, if you're hasty and you forget to control the secondary arm, watch what happens. I will go for a cross face and Mike will keep his elbow tied between my hip and his body, boom. If I don't stay here for three seconds, I will not get my points and neither will I maintain my position. So Mike will get his grip in front of my face and he's gonna push off with his frame, make an AB escape and I have to pass all over again. Even worse, if he gets a little bit more space, I get the underhook, he goes underneath my body and he makes a ghost way escape all the way to control my posture in a turtle position. So that's why it's very important before we pass to maintain our position, get our grips, and as long as we stay in a posture position here, I'm good. It's very hard for Mike here to sweep me or submit me, as long as I stay tight. Get the unhook, same thing applies. We can fight for this grip maybe four or five times, but only when I get the grip tight or get underneath the arm, I will continue to get my position and score my three points. Oops. 